unbox this thing. And in this video, we're actually going to put it together, take it out of the box and put it together. I just didn't want my videos to drag on. You know, sometimes it can be more than 15 minutes. So I kind of just split this into two. Anyway, here it is. We taking it out and as you can see really awesome let's go ahead and unpack this and see what we got all right so let's take a quick overview of what this guy can do how to read over a little, little bit of the instructions just to find out where everything is but he does have articulations in the arms and shoulders the elbows as well the elbows as well as the proximal wrist and his elbow. Well, it's kind of uh, stuck in place. I don't want to force anything. So as you can see, I have his face off. You can see that right there. It's where you put the batteries in there. Uh, we'll do that a little later there. So looking at the front, you could actually take off his chest armor. You just kind of pull from the side on both sides. It's kind of hard to do this trying to keep him in the camera and you could take his chest plate off. There's his chest plate. Still a lot of detail in the chest but I think uh, I don't know why you would display that. I guess you could display it like that but we're gonna leave this guy's chest plate on. Alright and then um, articulations in the head. We turn them around. Oh as you can see that the batteries for this is actually in the back there it has a few flaps here and uh, the biggest flap has some hinges so you can kind of fan them out if you want okay and then this little plate comes off here and this is where actually the battery goes right in there so we will, let's just leave that off for now. You got two plates on the shoulder. So if you wanna bring them up, I think that's more, once you get them in position, you can bring his shoulder pads up and down just so you can cover some of his shoulder blade there. So in regards to his, speaking of the shoulders, you got these little plates that come forward like so and then you got his rocket launchers inside here and you kind of bring those up and out and we'll go ahead and mount his shoulder rockets there we go so it kind of comes up and out with two hinges and we'll mount those later and then if you look on his legs, we got articulation in his hip, his thigh, his knees there, as well as his foot and his toe, which is really cool. So other than that, if we look at his legs, we got some back flaps here. So you can see there's a lot of detail in there. <laughs> Trying to do my best not to scratch this. And I'm probably missing a lot of things. I gotta go over all the, uh, all his features here. Oh yeah, and then when we, his, uh, the batteries for his, his uh, repulsors go in his upper arm right there or uh, actually the other side, right there. That's the gist of it. As you can see, this Iron Man has the billet rivet, so this is a prototype Iron Man. And let's go ahead and get all the batteries installed. And let's get some different fists, get his face back on there, and we'll get all our accessories installed. What's really cool about this piece is, uh, you got a lot of the flaps, you got the metallic, silver, and the billet features of this. So you can really fan them out, fan everything out, just so instead of having one condensed solid piece, you can kind of just fan it out there, which is really cool. So definitely, uh, we'll switch these fists out. 
get our light up repulsors on there, get all the batteries in, and we'll see what he looks like. All right, so here we go. We got them all set up here. As you can see, his LEDs are on, and he's in an awesome pose. And I think I did a really good job on that pose. You can see his chest piece is really cool with the riveted stainless look with the LED, especially makes it look extremely cool. Got all his back flaps flapped out, so it really fans them out and makes them stand out here. So I went ahead and turned off the lights a little bit just so you can see the LEDs. As you can see, his eyes are almost dead, man. These batteries that come with these things, they only last for about 15 to 20 minutes and then they're done. So I would suggest going on Amazon and getting your own batteries. I would just buy them in bulk, especially if you collect a lot of these, because just so you have them, because it's really a pain and you don't want to pay that full price at the store. So we went ahead and turned off the lights a little more. As you can see, the LEDs are blaring and we got our stand LEDs on and we got them in our uh, firing pose with his leg flaps out. And this is a really cool piece. I like that he's very adjustable. You can really uh, bring his legs far forward and far back. So you can put them in almost any pose that you want. And I like the stand, how big the stand is. On my Neon Tech, the stand is just tiny. You have to keep them in a standing position straight up. But this one, you can do pretty much anything you want there. So I'm really excited about this piece to put them on my display case and uh, I think I'm just gonna wire this up maybe. I was I watched some videos on that on it wiring all your pieces up. Seems like a pain in the butt, but once you get it done, it actually makes your display pretty cool. Unfortunately, as you can see there, my left hand, my left arm LED isn't working. I tried replacing the batteries, but unfortunately I'm gonna need a new arm. I contacted Sideshow to see uh, what they can do about it. Hopefully they can just send me an arm because I really don't want to send this back and start all over again. So there's our uh, nameplate, our Iron Man Mark II, and there's our little exclusive plastic Iron Man it comes with. And that's pretty much our Iron Man there. This is a really cool piece. It's in a, there's a lot of detail under all the flaps, under all the, the chest piece, behind the leg flaps are all very detailed. So I'm really impressed with this piece here. Here we go. What you all have been waiting for? Our awesome little exclusive piece. As you can see, it looks like they just poured some gel into a mold, and voila, exclusive. So before we conclude this video, let's take a look at the Iron Man with Robert Downey's head. And it's actually pretty cool. It's very detailed. This comes with an extra Iron Man mask where it magnetizes on the head. So I may just utilize this head on this piece. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and join me next time on our new Iron Man Neon Tech. We're going to go ahead and do a video on that. We'll see you next time.